Hi guys, my name is Tiffany and welcome back to another video. So I thought I would share with you guys today just some of my organizational tips and study tips while I was in nursing school. I am a very type A person and I love being organized and I think one of the things that really helped me a lot while I was in nursing school was actually this file folder. So this one that I got, I've had this for quite a while now, so this one I used actually while I was in nursing school and it's just great to have dividers and that way you can separate all the classes, put all the paperwork you need and it just fits in a very handy little file folder and this one is so lightweight too. I wasn't really a binder person just because it actually got pretty heavy the more I carried it around so I liked carrying a file folder with me and I like this one because it's clear so that I can see everything inside and it really helped to keep me organized and then also there's little file tabs that I can use and separate all my classes so I really liked using this a lot while I was in nursing school and also i have shared this in a previous video before but this is a file folder for my flashcards so i did use flashcards to study and so i like this one because you can actually separate them by all the subjects you take and so i am a sucker for file folder things as you can already tell there's a little trend going on here so here is the file folder that i used quite often in nursing school as well to keep um, organized and then one important thing that I always always have with me is a planner so I still am a pen and paper person and this planner you have seen if you watched my what's in my bag video that I carry with me to work so make sure to check one of the cards above and then this one I carry with me around all the time because while I'm working now I do have to plan out my schedules so I usually like to keep a planner with me and that way I can actually figure out what my schedules are write down all my you know meetings and staff meetings and classes that I have to go to, deadlines that are due, like for example, my RN renewals due, or like my CEUs are due, or I have to renew my um, certifications or something like that. So I always like to keep a planner with me and it just helps to keep me organized because while I was in nursing school as well, it's very difficult for you to plan out all your classes and all your deadlines are due and when certain classes had papers due and things like that so I always had a planner with me everywhere I went and this one I carry around with me to work all the time because things change every single day and so some things may happen and I have to update it so I do carry around a planner but I also do have a google calendar and I mentioned this in my um what's in my bag video. I do have a Google Calendar on my phone. And so whatever I put in here, I finalize it in my Google Calendar and that way I can have a electronic copy of it just in case I'm like out and about and I don't have my planner with me right now. I do have the electronic version of it just in case I need to make any updates or changes or figure out what my schedule is for the week. So I do have a Google Calendar that I use to keep organized and I used a calendar a lot while I was in nursing school to just keep organized all my classes as well. So you don't have to be like me and have two different ways of keeping your schedules, but personally, I still am a paper pen person, so I do like keeping my planner with me everywhere. So staying organized can be very difficult um, just because there's a lot of things that you have to keep like all the paperwork and all the papers you have to do and things like that. So what I do recommend is writing down all the deadlines you have. And I'm the type of person that likes to prepare way, way in advance. So let's say I know my paper is due three weeks from now. I usually will start working on it as soon as I find out when it's do so the be the sooner the better and I start working on it slowly that way it doesn't feel so time consuming and I'm not doing things last minute I do recommend for you not to try to do things last minute and procrastinate and I know I'm guilty of doing that sometimes as well but I think what keeps you organized and keeps you on top of things is to be able to figure out what you need to have done and prepare for it in advance so if you do have a planner and you do have a deadline due, try to start doing your paperwork and all that 
ahead of time and do them in little chunks. That way it doesn't seem that you're doing so much at once and it won't be as overwhelming. And then that way, if you do need to get feedback from people and things like that, you have the time to do so. So I do recommend that while I was in nursing school to be able to prepare in advance. And some study tips I have while I was in nursing school as well is of course the flashcards that I mentioned earlier, but also another thing that really helps me is being repetitive. So whether that is reading something and then writing notes about it and just reading my notes over and over again, or I do actually like to write out my notes and I write them out over and over and over again till my brain is consumed of the information. And then what also really helps me too is taking the information that I've learned and actually implementing it somehow. So what really helps me is that when I study for something and I actually see it in real life, let's say in your clinical setting, then it helps me to remember and that way I can connect the dots a lot more. So I do recommend carrying a small notebook around while you're in clinicals and that way when you see things that you have actually studied in your um, classroom settings, you can write it down in the notebook and that way when you go home, you can do a little bit more research on it or you do a little bit more education on some of the stuff that you've seen while you're in clinicals. And also another study tip that I have is to just study with groups of people. I did have a study group while I was in nursing school and the best thing is that we would quiz each other or go over topics that you know some person um, is having a little bit of difficulty with and then we would just kind of talk it over with each other and that way we can fully understand the information, share the knowledge we know, and we can also quiz and test each other things. So it was really nice to have a study group, um, but I did study a lot of the times individually as well because it's not always um, convenient to be able to have a group of people that you can study with. So I did do a lot of individual studying and what really helped me is to always write my notes down and color coordinate it. So I liked having color coordinated notes just because if I kept seeing things in black and white, my brain would just start mumbling and jumbling them together and then I would just get so confused and so I like to color coordinate things and if it really helps for you to be able to like draw little doodles next to it um, in your notes, you can do that as well. Um, what I did do often in nursing school is when my professors would give me the PowerPoints that we would be studying for that um, class or whatever, I would write notes next to my PowerPoints and that way I can you know, keep track of the things we talk about in class. And then when I go home, I actually will rewrite the notes in my notebook. So that way I actually go through all the information once again and I don't just like brush over it quickly. I actually go in detail, read on the PowerPoints again, go through my notes again, and then color coordinate everything. So it really helped me just to visualize things. And not everyone is great at, you know, reading textbooks and things like that. I am guilty of one of them where the words and the information just get so consuming and it just gets so confusing to look and read through. And so what I tend to do is I usually will take the PowerPoints in the class and kind of dig deeper into those topics and focus on the PowerPoints and what my professors want me to focus on. And then I would go into the book and go and find more details about it instead. So it really just depends on your study habits and what works best for you. But I thought that really helps me out. And that way I can, you know, dig deeper into the topics we discuss in class and not feel so overwhelmed with reading chapters and chapters of a textbook. So those are just some of the study tips and all the organizations that I did while I was in nursing school. So please let me know down in the comments below what you do to keep yourself organized and what are some study tips that you have. And I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Pass it free. Pass it free.